Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Rakathu Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rekar Kodash. Give double honors to our teachers, our apostles of Great Millstone. Now, the reason why I'm emphasizing that our teachers of Great Millstone, we give them double honors because they teach us all the hidden mysteries of the Bible. And a very important part, along with many, but one of the major, major ones is about reincarnation. And I was having a short conversation with someone today about reincarnation, which is very, very important. And I was just listening to my beloved brother, a beautiful, 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 beloved brother, Amon Ibad. And he, he was going to the comic board and he's going to King Solomon. And um, I'm going to play it now. And this is a gift to understand these hidden mysteries because you tell people, you explain to people, but they won't get it. They won't get it. My brother here, Amon Abad, was explaining about King Solomon and to show how spiritual this is, signs, more signs. He was talking and 144 came up. I'm going to let you see it for yourself. Yeah, because this is overwhelming. And I love to see signs like this signs and wonders because the lord uh, our heavenly father is about to return reincarnation is a very major important part of the ministry not everyone's going to get it like i said i was explaining to the person today and they could not understand so, this is the brother, beautiful brother, JMS Amawanai Bad 144, visiting, let me go here, visiting the comet board, responding to DW. Okay? Please go and watch that. Yeah. And um I'll play this and it's just it's overwhelming. Because Yahusha is going to come back. Lord willing we are in that number. The Lord is going to come back. Oh let me play it. Let me play. I hear the brother, you know. I'm what I bad. Now, go back and read this chapter on your own. So this is talking about the chief high priest, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, our Lord and Savior. Hebrews 7, verse 26. Who needeth not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice, first for his own sins and then for the people. For this he did once, when he offered up himself, for the law maketh man, Hebrews 7 and 28, for the law maketh men high priests which have infirmity, but the word of the oath which was since the law maketh the son who is consecrated forevermore. So when he came as Yahweh Shai, 
he did not have sin, but he paid for the sins that he committed as King Solomon. King Solomon's throne only lasted for 40 years. So how do we explain this if we don't understand reincarnation? 2 Samuel 7 and 13. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. King Solomon died. See? So without understanding reincarnation, we don't understand the Bible at all. You hear what the beloved brother said? That reincarnation. And you see, we go back to the apostles. We've been to churches for many years. And you will never understand about reincarnation. That's why you have to have teachers. All right. So, as the brother said, Amon Ibad says that if you do not know the concept of reincarnation, you do not know the Bible at all. That's a very important part of the scriptures. So King Solomon enjoyed 40 years of peace. Let's read it again. 2 Samuel 7, verse 13. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men. 2 Samuel 7, verse 15. But my mercy shall not depart from him as I took it from Saul whom I put away before thee and thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee thy throne shall be established forever he keeps repeating himself to show you that King Solomon would come back as who? King Solomon will come back as who? as our Lord and Savior. Well, 144 at the time. See, 1 Peter 2 and 24. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. That we, being dead to sin, should live unto righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. Did we not read that in 2 Samuel 7 and 14? I will be his father and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men. How do we explain that if we don't come back? Isaiah 53 and 5. See, we are all here once before. But some people do not agree to that. They say you only live once. So the so the reincarnation plays a very major important part okay of this doctrine. So please Baba Kusha as I say again. Please check it out. The beloved brother, Amor Bad, visiting the comment board, responding to DW. All right. All the praises is given to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai. Rakutha Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rukakwadash. And we give double honors to our apostles. Man, oh man, I tell you, if it was for our apostles to know these scriptures right and it goes even deeper than that you know because you will hear when you won't understand but imagine hearing from our teachers and you could understand and like I said along with other things reincarnation is very, is a must must to understand Shalom
please check out the beloved brother Amuana Bad. Right? It's a beautiful lesson. Yeah? Love to the brother. Right? Love to the brother Amuana Bad. Yes? Shalom, yeah? To my beloved brothers and sisters and children. Shalom.